Hello third graders! Welcome to the science worksheet number 7 solution. This time we'll be solving questions about the nervous system. So what is our nervous system made of? It is made of two major parts. The central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain with the spinal cord while the peripheral, peripheral nervous system is made of the nerves connected to all of our sensory, sensory organs. What's the function of the nervous system? The nervous system is the system that controls all of our activities. It helps us to sense the environment. What are our different sense organs? Our eyes help us see. Ears to hear. Nose to smell. Tongue to taste. And skin to feel. How is how does our brain work? The brain or the sensory organs send messages to the brain and it's the brain who is the control center of the body that analyzes the messages and tells you what to do or it tells you what you're seeing, you're smelling, you're tasting, you're feeling. I will start with question number one, which is the question found in your book on page 90. We have six different words and we have to complete a paragraph. The nervous system is a nerve occupied of two major parts. The central nervous system, also called CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, PNS. The central nervous system includes two things, the brain and the spinal cord build or make our central nervous system. So, the brain, the spinal cord make our central nervous system, while the peripheral nervous system is made of all of the nerves connected to different sensory organs. What are different sensory organs mentioned in the boxes? Eyes, ears, and nose. So, eyes, ears, and nose. The eyes, the ears, the nose, the tongue, and the skin are the sensory organs that help us sense the environment. Part B is also a question found in your book on page 93. We have, we have four different people using the, their sensory organs to uh, do different activities and to react with the environment. The first one is a photographer. The photographer uses his eyes mostly to capture beautiful photos. So, the eyes are the sens sensory organs using the most by this person. The skin of this man helps him feel the hot temperature, helps him feel the hot um, energy coming uh, from the sun. The girl playing music uses her ears to uh, play beautiful uh, music pieces. What about the girl eating bananas? The tongue of the girl sends messages to the brain and the brain tells her that she's eating um, a sweet food, which is the banana. These are bananas, they have a, they have a special taste or flavor. So the eyes 
send messages to the brain. The brain tells the man what he sees. The skin sends messages to the man's brain. The brain tells him that it's hot. The ears of this girl send messages to her brain. Her brain analyzes the messages and tells her, tells her that the music that she's playing is beautiful, is correct or not. The tongue of this girl sends a message to her brain and it's the brain who tells her that these are bananas. Question number two is also a question found in your book on page 94. We have a paragraph, we have first a figure showing the pathway of the nervous a message going from the eyes to the brain and then back from the brain to the muscles in the eye. Brain said there is a small mistake right here. We're not going to use the word spinal cord. I will replace it with the word analyzed. Okay. Your eyes send messages through what? Along what? What do we call the roads used by nervous messages to move from the eyes, from the sensory organs to the brain? These are the nerves. So, your eyes send messages along the nerves to the brain. And it's the brain that analyze and interpret these messages. The brain tells the man what he sees. The brain is a nerve what? And what does he do? What does it do with the body? The brain, so let me erase these nerves, analyze, interpret. The brain is, we also use this word. The brain is a nerve center that controls all of your body. So, we have no more words. Let's see. Messages from all the body parts pass to and from the brain via what? Through special roads. What did we call these roads? The nerves. So let me read it one more time. Your eyes send messages through the nerves to the brain. It's the brain who analyzes and interprets. It tells you what you're seeing. And then it sends messages back to um, different parts in your body. In this case, the brain is sending messages to the muscles in the arm just to pick up the cup of water. Messages from all the body parts pass to and from the brain through special roads that we call nerves. Here is a diagram of the nervous system. We have three things to label. What about this? What do we call the organ found in the head protected by the skull? And uh, this organ is the control center of the whole brain. This is the brain. Then we have this part. This is the central, sorry, this is the spinal cord. The brain with the spinal cord make up our central nervous system. These blue lines are the nerves. The nerves are the roads through which nervous messages pass to the brain and then from the brain. And we're done. This is all. If you still have any questions about um, uh, this worksheet, you can send me messages. And bye-bye.